Jesse. Hi there. How you doing? Jesse, we're live. Say hi. Hey, buddies. Hi. How you feeling? How you feeling? No, you don't want to look at the camera. Okay, well, we'll see you after the story, okay? All right. Oh, okay. Say thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching us today. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> On with the story. On with the story. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Did you have a Merry Christmas, Jesse? Did you have a Merry Christmas? Okay, here we go. We're going to read Jesse's Indigestible Incident. And she's going to sit like a good girl. Good girl, Jesse. Good girl. She had surgery on Monday, so she's getting around kind of slow. Oh, before I start, look. Shout out to Adri. Thank you, Adri. Adri made this. Isn't it gorgeous? So, I just love it. So gorgeous. Look at that. Talent, such talent. Thank you, Adri. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Jessie's indigestible incident. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. Oh, she's helping me read. Well, hello. Remember me? I'm sure you do. I'm that gorgeous celebrity that everyone, who's anyone, is talking about. That's right. I'm Jessie. No? I'm the one with the lopsided ears, one up and one down, and a cute beauty mark on my nose and chest. Still no? I have my own special style when I walk. It's almost like dancing. A little bit of walking, a little bit of wagging my beautiful tail. Let's call it waggling. Just another of my unique talents. Still don't remember? Where have you been? Hmm, I know, I know. I'm the one with the funny whiskers, one side black, the other white. I knew you remember me. How could you not remember the gorgeous pit bull with the pink feather boa? There is no other. Just little old exceptional me. On with my story. Ever since my mom found me at the shelter, I've had this little issue where I gobble my food. I don't know why, but nobody and I mean nobody is going to eat my food. Probably comes from having to eat whatever I could find when I lived on the streets. Well, on this particular day, I refused to eat anything. My mom knew something was wrong because, well, me not eating, so she took me to the veterinarian. Let's just call him the vet. Much easier. Now, I don't like to go to the vet's office. Don't get me wrong. He's nice and all. I just don't like that he has to pay attention to the other dogs. I mean, I'm Jesse. Pet me. Why does he have to be nice to the others? I'm Jesse, Nuff said. When we got there, I tried to give my usual hello by wagging my tail, but I couldn't get my wag up to speed. It just sort of flopped from side to side. He offered me a nice little treat, but I refused to have anything to do with it. Again, not something I would normally do. I love treats. Oh, 
they walked me from the exam room to the back of the hospital where they had this machine that could look at my insides. They called it an x-ray. It could tell if something was wrong in there. But he said, nothing looks strange. If you ask me, looking at someone's insides is strange all by itself. They sent us home. I still didn't feel like eating. Mom tried beef and rice. Nope. She tried feeding me boiled chicken. Nope. She even tried Alaskan cod, my most, most despairy favorite food in the whole world. Still. Nope. So the very next day, it was back to the emergency pet hospital. It was horrible. Mom cried because she was so worried. I was getting weak. I didn't even want to drink water. This is where it gets a little embarrassing. Mom had to carry me because I could hardly stand up. The emergency vet wanted to do something called a surgery. He thought I had something in my inside that caused an infection. Now, I don't know what a surgery is, and I don't know what an infection is. All I knew was that I didn't feel good, and I wanted to go home. When they admitted me to the hospital, they wrote American Pit Bull Terrier on my paperwork. Not this again. We're just like any other dog. Most of us are just happy to have someone to love. One of the techs had a pit bull at home. She was extra nice. She called me a velvet hippo. She said it was a nickname for pit bulls because our hair is so soft and shiny, like velvet. Also, our big heads and short squatty bodies make us kind of look like a hippopotamus. I like hippos, even though I never saw one. A real one, anyway. I don't see the resemblance. At least not with me. Anyway, I was hungry, but food just didn't sound good. I started thinking about what I had done in the last few days. There was that business card that I ate and that tissue I scarfed from the trash can. Those were no problem. I had eaten plenty of them before. A couple of days earlier, I was sniffing around the house, smelling all the smells like I normally do. I found this extra stinky sock in the clothes hamper. Now I love to chew on soft things. That's why all the blankets in our house have holes in them. This sock was one of mom's. I could smell her and it was extra soft. I picked it up with my mouth and out the door I ran. Sometimes mom sees me with socks and just as I start to get them down my throat, she pulls them out. I know it's a bad habit, but I can't be entirely perfect, can I? This time, I got away with it. I swallowed the sock whole. That must be what is making me sick. That nice little extra stinky sock was stuck inside me. <clears throat> I got to thinking about other things I had eaten. There was that $20 bill on the table. That came out. And that stinky glove in the garden I chewed the fingers and thumb off. They all came out. I even ate a part of the TV remote. That came out too. Somehow they had all come out. Why was this sock making me feel so sick? The next thing I remember was the text petting and talking to me, 
They were so nice. I must have fallen asleep. When I woke up, I felt different. I had tubes attached to my paws and all my beautiful hair was gone from my belly. And I had small silver lines all over my tummy. They kind of looked like jewelry. Is that what I look like under my hair? What happened while I was asleep? Surgery? Stitches. Jesse had stitches. Anyway, I was very tired and I still didn't want to eat. They offered me boiled chicken. No. They offered me beef and rice. No. They didn't have any Alaskan cod, so they offered me canned cat food. Now, that is so stinky, I usually can't resist. But not this time. Everything they offered me looked like Socks in a bowl, yummy, not. Chicken was white socks, the beef and rice were striped socks, and the cat food was brown socks. Yuck, I was not going to eat a bowl of socks. Ooh. And the tech took me out of my cage and we slowly and carefully walked down the hall to a small room. I had to be careful because I still had that tube taped to my paw and all that jewelry on my tummy was not comfortable at all. Once we got into the room, guess what? My mom was there. I was so happy to see her. I couldn't jump up so I just wagged my tail as best I could, held my gorgeous ears back so she could pet my face. She put a bowl of something on the floor and sat right there next to me. She was patting me and talking to me. Guess what? In the bowl was my favorite, you guessed it, Alaskan cod. My mom brought Alaskan cod to the emergency hospital for me. I forgot all about the bowls of socks they tried to feed me. Suddenly, I felt better. I ate everything in the bowl while Mom was talking away. It was really nice to hear her voice. Aw, she sure loves you, the tech said. I thought, yes, yes I do. Even more than I love Alaskan cod. I walked out of there with a little extra wiggle in my waggle, probably because of all that jewelry. When we got home, I noticed we had a new clothes hamper, one where the lid snapped shut. Thank goodness. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's the end of my sock tale. Next time, I'll tell you about another one of my adventures. Thank you for joining us. Let's get over and see Jessie. Let's see how she looks after her surgery. It's been almost a week. She had surgery on Monday. Let's check her out. Let's check her out. Hi. Hi. Say they shaved my leg. And I have stitches and bruises. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, look, she can get up. She can shake. Hi. Good girl, Jessie. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for seeing me today for Saturday Story Time. Say bye bye. I'll see you next week.
Bye. Say bye, everybody. Thank you.